Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. Good morning, Vietnam, and let's get into the content without any further delay. Remember, everything you see here is not financial advice, so let's jump into it, guys and gals. So what are we seeing right now? We are seeing that uh, yesterday the U.S. markets were basically flat. Even though we had uh, really good economic data out there, we did see that uh, basically it had no impact. And what we're seeing right now is we're seeing that, you know, the broader markets are just kind of crazy out there. Anytime we get any good, uh, you know, financial news coming out, it often having the opposite effect. Because what's happening is a lot of people are getting worried that, uh, you know, if the news is positive, then, you know, the interest rates are not going to go down, then they're going to stay the same. So that is why you saw that, uh, you know, even though the jobs data was good, um, we we're expecting uh, the markets to go up and that would be the normal logic. But because we're in an illogical, uh, you know, a macroeconomic uh, situation where if, if the if the information is good, then that will lead and point uh, for uh, for the government to, in fact, not reduce interest rates. So that is why people don't like good news right now because people are worrying that, you know, oh, if the news is good, then it means that these inflation measures are working and the the interest rates will not go down. So that is what that is all about. So in case you're wondering, you know, what's happening, it's like, what's happening? So yesterday we did see that the fear, the fear and greed index out there is not too shabby, uh, is about the same as it was yesterday. And that is at 27 out there. So remember the big money, the whales out there are still buying up the crypto but we're seeing a lot of retail investors are kind of, you know, scared and they're kind of running for the hills. Uh, but I'm still loading up, guys, absolutely loading up. Let's take a look at the heaty heat map, guys. We're seeing we're seeing some green. We're seeing BNB is down uh, because of the, the anchor hack that we had yesterday. So that's what that's all about. We are seeing that uh, Bitcoin is still holding strong, but ever so slightly, ever so slightly gains uh, from yesterday. Uh, so guys, keep an eye on that. Uh, we're not seeing anything, but guys, definitely, definitely in the next 24 hours, something big is going to happen, I believe that we're going to see a nice reversal and we could see a nice uh, weekend rally coming so that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking guys it's kind of interesting uh, I thought this was kind of interesting article and it says dogecoin bitcoin beating bounce may be bad news for the market so what this is really saying is it's talking about dogecoin and they're saying that, you know, Dogecoin is a contraindicative uh, uh, crypto out there or meme coin. And what they're kind of saying is that every time that uh, Dogecoin goes up, it often results in a crash for Bitcoin. So let's dive in. Let's let's dive in. I don't know. She doesn't look so happy. <laughs> so you can see here Dogecoin spikes. Let me get my face out of the way. Let me get my face out of the way. So it says here Dogecoin spikes have consistently foreshadowed Bitcoin slides over the uh, past. So you can see here that the green line here, the green line is the Bitcoin price. And every time we see Dogecoin spike, Bitcoin goes down. Spike, Bitcoin goes down. Spike, Bitcoin goes down. Spike, Bitcoin goes down. And right now we are seeing a nice Dogecoin spike. So people are saying, well, you know, that we're going to see a Bitcoin crash. So often you're seeing that, you know, Dogecoin over the long term has been outperforming uh, Bitcoin uh, from that perspective. So some people are saying, look, you know, we could be seeing a, a crash out there for Bitcoin. And the reason for that is because of our Doge Woja. So, guys, what do you think? What do you absolutely think out there? I mean, the data is, is indicating that, but I don't quite believe it, guys. I think it's just happenstance out there. We're seeing Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. And if you guys love Dogecoin, don't forget to hit Dogecoin 111. And we're seeing that Dogecoin is right now above the 50 and 100 and 200 day moving average and this is flip positive bullish as long as it stays this way so what this is showing us is that if bitcoin can stay above the 50 the 100 and 200 day moving averages those three moving averages then we could be seeing that uh, dogecoin could start to take off and start to reverse to the upside so we're going to jump into the dogecoin price in a minute so hold the phone guys absolutely hold the phone uh dogecoin fear index right now is very neutral we have 45 so that is good guys we're not guys we're not we're not fear we're not an extreme greed we're kind of neutral so neutral is not so bad this is a good a good uh time to accumulate uh not financial advice of course uh let's take a look at what's going on in the social i mentioned now yesterday the uh, big the dogecoin was number five at 33.9 million uh social mentions now we've seen that dogecoin now has slipped down to number six 
That's about 22.23. So, guys, you know, uh, once again, if you want to help fuel fuel the Dogecoin rocket, guys, get some gas in that tank. What you got to do is you've got to, you know, you've got to be proactive out there. You've got to get out there. You've got to, you know, start tweeting out and start going crazy out there. And, uh, you know, get the social mentions, get some social engagement going. So, you can see right now, uh, eight, number eight spot is the Arsenal fan token. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, number one, of course, is Bitcoin. Number two, uh, Tezos, Solana. Now, guys, so this is an interesting indicator now what a, this is kind of uh you know you'll see that you know once we have uh coins that are in the top five spot often this is indicated that something's happening if you see a coin that's getting a lot of social engagement uh this often means that something's going to happen it means it's going to pump pity pump pump so let's take a look at what's going on in terms of social engagements for the doji woosha right now 14 percent up on the month but the weekly still positive guys weekly we're still seeing social mentions up 14 percent we're still seeing social engagements up about 16.7 percent so that's interesting uh who's in the money right now for the doji let's talk about that and something big is going to happen. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin price in a second, guys. 63% are in and 36% are out. And we're neutral. So neutral is a good, good time to be picking up the Doge with you guys. So Dogecoin, one more one. So right now, for the price of Dogecoin, guys. So, you know... From my perspective, we're seeing that Dogecoin right now is above 10 cents, so that is pretty good. Uh, it was uh, languishing for a while there. The kind of pattern that I think that Dogecoin could probably take, and let's just let's just kind of revisit that pattern right now. Let me clean up this chart. Clean up the charty chart. Work. So, you know, from my perspective, let me just zoom this in a little bit so you can see that Dogecoin had a nice, uh, you know, a nice run. We, we we did go down a little bit. We are seeing a nice uh, kind of, you know, rounding, uh, rounding uh, top pattern here. And, you know, we're seeing a little bit of a bull flag uh, forming here on the, on the four hour. So where do I see Dogecoin going? I mean, Dogecoin, it seems it's, it seems it's about range bound between 10 10.38 and uh, 10 cents out there. So I think that Dogecoin is probably going to stay here for most of the next 24 hours. And I think that Dogecoin will attempt to break out, will absolutely attempt to break out and get itself above the uh, 10.38 level. And I think, we, I think we should start to see a nice retest of 11 cents this weekend, guys. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm, getting, a, I'm, getting, a, I'm getting goosebumps on the back of my neck. And I really feel that we could be seeing us probably trying to, trying to break past this. If we can break past the 10... 10 4 0 10 3 8 level then we're definitely going to be <coughs> excuse me we're definitely going to be going up and we could see ourselves going up uh to 11 cents if we cannot get back if we cannot get past 11 cents then dogecoin will get rejected and it will start trading uh, probably in this range guys so and we may go sideways for a while but you know i'm still forecasting we could be getting at least 15 cents by the end of the year so that's what i'm thinking let's take a look at the dogecoin in terms of uh, some of the indicators out there let me give this a minty refresh so we are seeing the dogecoin is slightly down down 1.25 percent we're seeing the volumes right now at 785 uh, million out there and the market cap is still looking pretty strong and we are uh, down about 1.25 percent and that's about 13.4 billion so dogecoin overall looking to not too bad not too bad let's jump into what's going on with bitcoin guys so it looks like a bitcoin right now is trading in this area it's kind of hovering in this area right now so if we take a look at the the bitcoin price right now where's bitcoin price we're seeing that bitcoin is now hovering around about seventeen thousand dollars and, uh, you know, we, we seem to be in this kind of tight range here where we seem to be retesting this. Now, if we can retest and break out the upside, that is going to be very good. We could be retesting around eighteen to $19,000. But if we, cannot, if we cannot break out of this zone here, then uh, we are definitely going to be collapsing back down. And if we go back down, our, our, next, our next absolute target uh, for us is probably going to be uh, going back down to this area. So, you know, we need, to, we, we need to get out of this zone. And we've been in this zone for quite some time. We've seen ourselves get stuck in this zone. Uh, probably we've been in this zone since uh, around, since, let me get my face out of the way, you'll be able to see it. So we've been kind of stuck in this zone here since around about, where are we? Let me get in there. So since, since about the beginning of November, we've been kind of stuck in this range. So we've been kind of stuck here for about 30 days now. And if we don't break out, 
uh, venture out of this zone, then we're going to get a huge rejection and we'll probably go down to our technical support of 13,500. So we have to keep an eye on that. Actually keep an eye on that. That's what I'm thinking that's happening. Also, it looks like, uh, you know, from Bitcoin perspective, Bitcoin is showing some signs of life, but we're not out of the woods yet. As I've talked about, we have this, you know, huge descending wedge on the daily time frame. And, uh, you know, we have a good support around this area here. And uh, Bitcoin bulls need to reclaim the 18.5 resistance uh, to confirm the falling wedge breakout. So, like I said, we do have some resistance at the 18.5 area. 18.5 uh, uh, area is around about, where are we? Around there is 18.5 area. So, we have some resistance there, around about where this purple line is, guys. And if we could break out above that resistance, and that will give us a nice uh, moony moon shot, and that could take us up to 29,000 uh, over the long term, right? So, in case of a wedge breakout, expect a 50 to 60 percent bullish rally in 2023 January so we could be seeing a good rally in January guys so it's happening guys it's absolutely happening and I think in the next 24 hours or so we will be seeing that Bitcoin will show us some light of day and we will have a confirmation so if we can get a confirmation uh, in the next 24 hours or the next 48 hours of a break past 17,500 then that will confirm our bullish pattern to the upside and we could be seeing $23,000 coming in for January guys so that's what I'm thinking about what are you guys thinking? It looks like a deep a Bitcoin value. You need to, uh, you, you know, and th what we're talking about here is realized value. So you don't need to look at much, you don't need to look much more than the long term hold of profit and loss here to see that we are at a historical rare deep value. So what I'm saying is if we look at the actually, you know, the entity adjusted uh, new pull out there, we are still seeing that, uh, you know, the value of uh, the realized uh, value of uh, Bitcoin is around about 21,000. We're way, way under that. So, you know, every time we have this, the purple purple or pink whatever you can see here that right now we're in this whole capitulation zone we're about to we're about to flip to uh, hope and then optimism and belief and then euphoria so we could see that bitcoin could be uh, definitely reversing so guys there's this there's um there's some stuff going on, on the internet right now and it's called and it's from this guy called matt uh, toby out there and it's talking about what is going on in terms of what happened with uh, Twitter uh, before Elon Musk took over? And it's quite it's quite eye opening, guys. I don't want to get into it because the AI is going to clamp down on me like a, like a mother beep out there. But you guys definitely want to go take a look at Matt Toby and uh, look at the uh, definitely be looking at the the uh, Twitter uh, you know the Twitter files tell an incredible story uh, from inside one of the world's largest and most influential social medias, and you can just see how uh, you know basically the narrative has been pushed this way or the other artificially by some in nefarious bad actors at Twitter. So it's all kind of coming to light. Uh, this is by courtesy Elon Musk has kind of uh, leaked this out guys. So that is kind of interesting out there. So it looks like uh, it looks like you know there's a whole there's been a whole bunch of stuff happening as well. Uh, we got the uh, you know Shiba Nakatoshi the uh, Dogecoin developer is also uh, you know talking about this and uh, it looks like you know you guys de definitely need to go and read the uh, Twitter files guys. So once again, the Twitter files, uh, I'm not going to leave a link because this could be could be bad news for me. Uh, so just go to Matt Toby and take a look at that, guys. It's kind of interesting out there. Also, so what else is coming out? Looks like uh, the New York, uh, our friends here at the uh, at the um, you know the, this crappy publication here. It uh, looks like you know they've they've created a, a kind of a fluff piece uh, out there, and this whole fluff piece out there is to kind of you know make uh, our friend Elon look bad. And Elon replies, utter false. So. Guys, go take a look at this. Uh, go to Elon Musk's uh, Twitter and read about that. I don't want to talk about it too much. AI will clump down. So major Twitter system improvements were implemented this week to drop the hammer hard on spam and, uh, and bot accounts. So I'm actually seeing that, you know, there's less and less spam out there. So that is interesting, guys. That is absolutely interesting, guys. So go, go take a look at that. You're going to love it. I love it. What else is coming? I thought this was kind of interest research. Bitcoin having pattern suggests price will cross above higher. So every time we have this, uh, every, and what this is talking about is the Bitcoin having. Every time we had the Bitcoin having, uh, I mean, it lasted 299 days in 2016. It lasted uh, 134 days in 2020. And right now, currently, we are at 168 days. So we should start to see that Bitcoin should start to, you know, reverse up and uh, as we get ready for the next halving, guys. So this is kind of interesting. And you can see that every time we have a halving, the price increases. So the next halving will be uh, between February to May 2024. And we can see a nice price increase. So you can see that every time we have a halving, the price goes up, guys and gals. So things are looking pretty, pretty good. The first halving was, uh, the first halving was 1,318 days. The second halving was 1,401 days. So it looks like 
we're getting pretty close to that guys and uh, you know we only uh, we only have about 75,000 uh, blocks left to mine so interestingly enough once a uh, Bitcoin uh, does have a halving as we get close to that and it looks like we could be starting to see a nice uh, pump to the upside guys so looking pretty good absolutely looking pretty good DXY is following my pattern unkindly exactly as predicted we're at 104 out there let's take a look at the total market cap and uh, markets out there let me give this a minty refresh out there so we're seeing that right now the markets are slightly slightly up and uh, we're at 859 billion we've seen bitcoin is up uh, ethereum is up not too much it's almost neutral out there pretty much uh, the same as the broader markets dogecoin is down unfortunately down about 1.09 percent nothing too much to write home about what else is happening what else is happening guys don't forget if you uh, have your crypto on a centralized exchange get yourselves a nano ledger wallet guys secure your crypto sleep well at night the smartest way to secure your crypto is with a nano ledger wallet the link is down there guys and also too i've got a link to unstoppable domains guys go down there and pick yourself up a domain guys it is uh, absolutely amazing guys so go go check that out guys be part of the conversation go join our free discord out there i would love it you love it let's take a look what's going on with the shibi weeby right now shibi weeby is really just going sideways nothing much to, to write home about if shibi weeby does not delete a zero we are in trouble guys and gals ethereum right now uh is full uh, it's forming this bull flag pennant right now and we could be seeing a nice breakout to the upside let's take a look what's going on with the lung token lung token uh, did go up yesterday around about seven point two four percent it's giving up some of those gains but it's still way way off from its all time from its highs of uh, 8th of september guys and gals so it's got a lot of a lot of room to go from my perspective keep an eye on that so that's going to bring this video to a close you well, guys don't forget to go and uh, check out all my links guys uh we got the dogecoin tippy jar and remember if you want to know where the uh, nano ledger link is and the and the um the uh, hardware wallet link is down there and uh, also the discord link as well guys so get the merch get the merch be the merch and show some love out there and also guys don't forget to follow me on twitter guys follow 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 watch out for fake accounts i would appreciate it. god bless everybody out there have a great day be well i'll see you in the next one peace out